Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to get started with mixing and mastering in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you're not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play, you have your audio recorder right here and so on. So let's get started with mixing and mastering our tracks the first thing i'm going to do is to open up this audio recorder option right here this is going to open up this recording menu where at the top of the screen we have the big red circle to start recording and so on and what we want to do is to go right here into the upper left corner and click on this button in the middle this is going to open up this edit mode and the edit mode we can find this mixing section where you can take a look at all the tracks that you have as you can see i have added my drum kit right here my keyboard my audio recorder and so on and now i can get started mixing and mastering so basically guys you'll find all the options that you you need for mixing and mastering right here at the top of the screen here in the upper right corner you have your settings icon here you can get started with setting your tempo time signature everything you need and right here next to the fx button you have your sliders the sliders are the main option you're going to use under sliders you'll be able to find your track settings right here now as you can scroll down as you can see you can take a look at all the plugins and equalizers that you have right here you have your master effects to get started with adding your master effects such as echo reverb and so on everything that you need to get started with mixing and mastering these are all the options that you're going to have on your iPhone on Mac you'll probably have more options but this is the section that you'll want to use on your mobile device and that's how to get started so I hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye